I want to explain how I'm going to take a 55 gallon barrel and I'm going to turn it into an aquaponic system with fish and a drain system and a spreader barn plants so we're going to do that with this little project barrel right here so to start with I'm going to mark the barrel where I'm going to do some cuts on it and I'm going to do some uh, installation of some PVC fittings into the barrel bungs for drainage and uh, I'll get back with you here in a minute once I mark the barrel and I'll show you what I'm, how I'm marking it. Okay you can see I marked this barrel right at this this is the large 60 gallon barrels and it has these two ridges around it so I marked on the bottom or on the upper side of that ridge right there and that's where I'm going to make a cut with the my jigsaw. Okay, as you can see here, I cut this barrel off and uh, cut it right off of that ridge right there with my skill saw, not my uh, jigsaw. And now I'm going to mark the bottom barrel where you cut the holes and the wedges for the to be able to make the edge of this barrel right here fit to the inside edge of the lid. Let's step back so you can see it has a groove around the inside of the lid of the lid right there, so that that will sit on the outside. Because as it is right now, it fits down the inside of the barrel, and we don't want that. We want to put it on the on the outside so that it supports it and that it makes it stable. So here in a minute, I'll show you um, how we're going to do that. Okay, I marked off this hole. I uh, you know my marker went a little past the line right there. That'll be the access hole for the water and the fish. Reach down in there. And then around the sides of it, I've marked off these that I'm going to cut out with the, with the scroll saw. And those are going to be where I draw that neck down to where it will become reduce the diameter of it where it'll fit inside the groove on the top portion of the barrel. So I'll cut this stuff out and then I'll get back with you here in a minute. Okay I took a quarter inch drill bit and I drilled holes in the corners of this right here so that I can get my jigsaw blade down inside that and cut out that hole right there. Just wanted to show you that little detail right there and just used a this little drill right there with the to drill down in those corners right there. Okay, you can see I cut the hole out for the entrance there, and I cut five wedges out around the outside there so I can neck the barrel down and make it a reduced diameter so it'll sit inside that groove. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a quarter inch hole in each one of the corners on the sides of those wedges so that I can get the zip tie through it to tighten that down. Okay, be back with you in a second. Okay, you can see how I drilled the holes out in the corners of that right there. And uh, on all the ones around there, so I zip tie and neck them down. I'll show you here in a second how that, how that goes. Okay, <clears throat> I want to show you another little thing I'm going to do. This is going to be my drain pipe. So what I did is I held it up to the side of the barrel, right about there, and I marked where it was going to come out to. Then I want to cut this on a little bit of a taper. So I marked that off and kind of hand drew a line on that. So this, what it's going to do is this will taper will sit down over that barrel bung, right down in the bottom like that. And with it cut on a taper, it'll allow it to sit there and not. And then I'm going to secure this kind of up against the wall right here. And this will allow for me to have a protected standpipe and the siphon device. So uh, I'll get back with you on the on the zip tying part of the bottom right there. I don't have any zip ties at the house. You can use bayonet wire or whatever, but. But uh, I, I, I prefer to use uh, plastic zip ties, kind of like 
kind of like that right there. And you can see back in the corner, see how they're zip tied back up there in the corner? That all allows for it to secure it. And it's also um, secured in such a way that it, it, it doesn't oxidize, it doesn't rust away. So that's just my idea right there. Okay. Um, or we can just go ahead and I'll just I'll just show you that away, and then I'll I'll, I'll continue on with the with the actual barrel and setting it up on this uh, new project, and then I'll I'll get the zip ties in wood so I can upload this video and show everybody. Okay, um, you can see this barrel has this barrel bung in it. There's also one over here, but I'm just going to use this one here because it's larger. Um, in diameter the hole in the middle that one there next down a little bit further but I'm going to do this one here and uh, don't worry about the dirt this is a food grade container but um, you know the, I'll, I'll rinse everything off before I stock it but I'll show you what I'm going to do I'm going to cut out that, that center portion so that I can screw a piece of uh, plastic PVC pipe into that I'll get back to you in just a minute and I'll show you how that what that looks like after it's been removed Okay, I cut out that hole, and uh, what that's going to allow me to do is to screw in a piece of a three-quarter inch pipe into that hole. But I can screw it in from this side, but that's not the that's not the, the benefit of what I'm going to do. So actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this barrel and I'm going to turn it over. To this side and I'm going to screw it in from the top. So. Okay, sorry for all the bouncing around with the camera. Here this is screwed into the inside of the barrel. Comes up and that'll be reduced down. I'm gonna cut that off to the right height so that it gives me uh, you know the depth of the growth, the grow bed material, the grow bed medium will be on that up that as high as that is right there. And what that'll allow is for the water to only go up to the top of the hydrotin, because sometimes the hydrotin will float when it's completely inundated with water and then if it floats then you have a tendency for settlement and things like that so you don't want to you don't want to give it the opportunity to to settle out on you but that right there is what I'm gonna you know I'll, I'll trim that off I'll show you a little bit later how I did that okay um, here's what I did I, I went through there from the inside and I fed the zip ties through the holes zip tied it up tight so it, it necked it down and that's just the trash in the bottom I'll clean that out in a minute and I'll clean out the barrel also but now now this um, barrel will sit down on top of that all the way around and it'll be able to to sit on the top and it, it's, it supports the weight of it now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this pipe here that's the pipe to keep the grow medium away from my drain tube. I'm going to drill holes all around the base of this so that the water can flow in through this and everything else will stay in its place and it will flow in you know, with a decent flow rate and won't you know, carry drive everything else inside of it with it. So that's what I'm going to do here and I'll get back with you in just a second. Okay, I want to show you here. I cut this standpipe off the height of the grow medium that I'm going to put in this barrel. I'll get all that cleaned up here in a minute. Next, I'm going to take some inch and a quarter um, PVC, and I'm going to cut some holes on the bottom of it or something. And basically, what this is going to do is it's going to go right over the top of that with a cap on it. And the cap is going to cause it to create a siphon 
So it's going to stand on there just like that, except it'll go all the way to the bottom. Now it's just standing, that's hold, held up because it's sitting on the cap. But it'll go all the way to the bottom so you have about a quarter of an inch of clearance between the cap and the top of that drain pipe inside of it. So what that's going to allow it to do is going to allow the water to overflow and then it's going to suck a vacuum, like a siphon, on that inch and a quarter piece of uh, PVC pipe and it's going to drain all the water, it's going to suck all the water out of this barrel down and then it's going to drain right back down into the bottom, just like on this pump over here. So I'm going to show you what this one looks like. This is what this one here looks like, um, that I finally got it all set up, I tuned it and it, finally this, this works really well for me. And there's the drain pipe in the bottom, in the middle, and then this just goes over the outside of it. I put some duct tape on there to kind of make it easy for me to pull it out of there whenever I want to inspect it or look at it. But basically that's how it works.